Apollo hoax. They couldn't do it technically correct. It's probably true that for author Casing, the pursuit of the conspiracy is what fascinates. He collects anything that fits his thesis. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. There's a lot of that you can take several half-truths and reach very rapidly an erroneous conclusion. Specifically, there's no crater under the lunar module because except for a thin layer of dust, the moon is made of rock. Not true, as this photo proves. The Apollo astronauts' foot sank two inches deep into the dusty surface. As for the shadows and reflections... The visor is basically a mirror. And with the sun coming in from behind the astronaut, anything that the astronaut is facing is going to be illuminated by the sun and reflected in the mirror. In this famous view of Colonel Aldrin allegedly standing on the moon, we see that the front of his suit is illuminated. If this were really shot on the moon, the front of his suit would be just as black as the small gully at his feet. Finally, there is also good reason for the absence of stars in photos sent back from the moon. The Earth is very bright, and the lunar surface is very bright. So the stars are faded out because of the, you don't want these overexposed. Every picture that NASA has presented of the heavens shows stars. And yet, in all of the Apollo landings, the astronauts never discuss stars nor do we ever see photographs of stars, although they could have easily taken them with a simple astronomical telescope camera. Somehow, an electrical fire ignited in their command module, and all three were dead within moments. This is typical of the lies disseminated by NASA. In the book, Liftoff, is this quote, The crew had no chance to escape, but died of smoke inhalation and burns within moments. This statement is refuted in the book, Mission to the Moon, a critical examination of NASA and the space program, in which this quote appears. NASA was forced to correct earlier statements that the astronauts had died quickly, silently, and painlessly. Kazing asks why the Soviets never landed on the moon. NASA, however, points out that they did land on the moon with far cheaper unmanned vehicles. Lloyd Mallon an expert in aerospace technology wrote an entire book called Russia's Space Hoax, 